Alright guys, welcome back to Condemned. It has been determined that birds are, birds are drawn to specific locales throughout the city by strange sonic disturbances of unknown origin. Once in close proximity of a disturbance, the, brain, the bird's brain suffers... Ah, crap. I didn't have enough time to read. Sorry guys. It's basically you always pause and read it yourself. Let's see, and I'll shut up. Yeah. Thomas, it's Farrell. Running from the Bureau will do no good. You know we'll find you eventually. Look, I understand. The case law became too much. You weren't solving cases like you used to. You're talented, high strung. You snapped. It happens sometimes. I did not snap. Someone else killed those policemen. I, it looks like it might have been the matchmaker. With your gun. That seems unlikely now. Psychiatric staff that can help you sort things out. With all due respect, I don't need a shrink. Yikes. There's a possibility, Ethan. Look, Farrell. This isn't Farrell. It's Malcolm Van Horn. Has your boss been bothering you? Yes. To be expected. They're not going to let this drop. You must continue with your investigation. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. I mean, no. What do you want from me, Malcolm? What's going on? So, yeah. Welcome to Bart's Department Store. Nastiest place in the city. Mannequin arm. That's about all I can grab right now. And take a look. Christmas presents. Noel. In the middle of July. Why, it's Christmas in July. Let's see now. Let's see if there's anything else I can grab. Uh... Two by four bolts, yeah, why not? One of the weakest ass weapons in the game. Close around, that's much better. Alright, now we can explore this place. Explore. Sorry guys, I just ate, so I can't really talk well right now. A bird. I like birds. I like all sorts of animals. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, just a homemade pizza. Made it myself. Just cheese and mushrooms. Whoa. Leave. Can't leave yet, guys. I still got stuff to do. Oh, we'll be getting our fair share of crazy soon enough. Oh, look. Here's one already. And he's dead. Melee combat. Love it. Alright, there we go. You know, it's Christmas in July. You know, Yep, I mean, it is July right now as I'm recording this. Oh, sucks for him. Provides a great bridge for us. Uh, 
I don't know if I can go this way. Yeah, two by four bolts. Don't want to use that. That's a very weak ass weapon. Keep your eyes on these mannequins. <clears throat> Oftentimes, there's more to them than meets the eye. As I'll show you right here. That was a person. And chances are there's more of him. Yep, see? I'm gonna snap him. I'll grab that rebar. Oh, another one. Ow. <clears throat> I love the concrete rebar. It works so well. It's a nice, powerful weapon, and it isn't too slow. So I gotta say, I love the axe and sledgehammer more. <clears throat> nope. It's just going around in a circle. Man. If Silent Night, Deadly Night pissed off parents, I can't imagine how they'd react if they saw this. Good movie, too, by the way. Silent Night, Deadly Night. One of the few uh, slasher films out there you actually see that has a story to it. Can I honestly say it's one of my favorite slasher films? Am I supposed to go down? Uh, hold on, guys. I think I'm a little lost. I think there's a door around here somewhere that I'm supposed to go through. I don't know. It's been a while. Again, it's been a while since I played the game. Maybe I'm supposed. Maybe I'm supposed to go back. I don't know, I'm gonna look around here for another minute. See if there's anything here that. I don't see anything, so let's go back. Sorry if I'm going around in circles, guys. Oh, no, no, no. That person's going to shoot at us, and we have no way of taking them on. Let's go back here. I think it's just another dead end. And, uh, yep. Nothing there. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> as I said, as I said before, I'm probably gonna get lost in these games. In this game, multiple times. Look at all these mannequin heads. blind corner. Oh, stupid me. <laughs> Image received. Right-handed print missing the right index finger. This matches what we got from the crime scene. I processed all the prints. And Thomas, the print you got from the tape recorder at the metro station isn't on this hand. I don't get it. What, what does that mean? I'm not sure. I'm just saying that the print from the tape recorder wasn't made by the same hand. <sighs> Meaning that there's someone else involved. Ow.
I gotta go down there. Let's go in here and see if there's anything that needs to be got. No, I'm not gonna take that. I don't really like using guns in this game very much. <clears throat> because the melee weapons are very much more effect are much more effective. <laughs> I just need to zap her to death. Lots of mannequins. I can knock their heads off. Wish I had done that earlier. Bloody trail. We need a sledgehammer to get to there. Luckily, I know where to find one. <coughs> Just looking around to make sure that there's no one else to fight. Because you know these. Because you know these people, they don't. They don't fight alone. Move object. Take him dump down there. Yep, I gotta take the sledgehammer now, which means bye bye rebar. Oh well, it's much more powerful. Okay, this mannequin wasn't there earlier. Yep, they're all dead. Let's break that lock. Now downstairs we go. Nope, don't need any health. Though I am gonna try to remember it's up there. Try something different. Let's try a punch. You're out of bullets. Ah! Ah, come on. I hate it when they do that. Killed him with his own shotgun. <sighs> Run back this way. Go get that health. We're going on 15 minutes now. Another 5 minutes and I'll cut the video. Grab the health kit.
Okay, I think this part... Okay, I think I know what's gonna happen here. And this part, I have to admit, is kind of creepy. It's pretty creepy, really. Uh, no, no, not quite yet. Don't you even dare. Sure is a kill. No, I don't want the gun. Guns are next to useless in this game. They come in handy quite a few times. I mean, they're powerful, don't get me wrong. The guns are powerful. It's just that they're few and far between, so yeah, you're gonna have to rely mainly on melee combat. When you've got a strong enough weapon on you, like I got on me right here, you wanna keep it. Trust me, it'll save you a lot of time and health. I mean, sometimes when I use them, I really only use them because, you know, they're holding them, so I'll zap them, take the weapon, and just use it on them. Kills them quickly. Okay, here's the part I was talking about. These mannequins. See? They were over there, but now they're here. Whoa. Now the mannequins are behind us. Come on, save. Okay, now we're in the basement. I'm not gonna lie, I really friggin' hate basements in this game. You'll see why when we get to... You'll see why as we continue on through here. Someone's over there. Let's take care of this guy. Let's take care of this creep real quick. And he's down. Then we go across the water. But guess what? There's gonna be a surprise in store for us. This way. Yeah, we gotta go through that door over there. However, we need a fire axe, and we don't have a fire axe on us, so yeah, now we gotta search around for one. And I'm gonna cut the video here because we're going on 20 minutes now, so yeah, I'll be back in a minute, guys.